This week I traveled to Ontario, but apparently the footage of coming here was deleted as I mentioned in my community post, so here I am traveling to the CNE in Toronto, specifically downtown Toronto. So first up we're going on the highway, and you know we're arriving at downtown. The buildings are like a really pretty vibe. Um, I have come to downtown Toronto quite a few times when going to my Ontario trip. Um, downtown is like a really pretty place. And thank you so much mom for taking the clip, it was a really nice clip. So there are a bunch of little apartments and like buildings and it's just pretty cool. So here is Lakeshore downtown Toronto, we weren't able to go near the lake of course, but um, there are views of the lake. And here's pretty building artworks, I've seen this before in my life and it's super outstanding and pretty. Now we're driving closer to the CNE destination. Um, you could see a bit of the lake from this view, and there are some boats around and really big cruise ships and stuff. Um, so that is a nice view. Here is a much more closer view. There are some boats, as you guys can see, and there is a huge um, boat somewhere around there. So, yeah, the view is really pretty um if i had stopped near lakeshore i would have obviously taken better pictures but our main place of the day while in Tr ontario um was the cne because we we're only going to be here for about a week or so so not gonna lie the lake is really pretty and it's just really amazing um i have actually taken photos before here i believe really sure i don't remember um but lakeshore is really pretty and here's a little bridge um apparently arriving at the cne did take a while um there are many stops and we did use a map and this is my first time seeing police officers on a horse it was such a really stunning view um i never seen police officers on horses before and the horses are so adorable and the police officers are so friendly as well. So now I'm walking towards the CNE because of how far we parked our car. Um, there are a lot of parking spaces and we did have to pay for our parking. Yeah, so rip bank account, but like, you know, it was worth it. The CNE entrance is really outstanding. It's so pretty. Um, I love the architecture to it and the bricks. It's just like really nice. Um, they do have a lot of stuff, like this is a really big place and it's like a lot of stuff inside, like rides, um, shops, food stores, etc, name it all. So buying the tickets were pretty expensive, rip bank account once again, but it was definitely worth the stay at Ontario, especially downtown Toronto. So inside the CNE headquarters, there are so much buildings and shops and of course, there was the CNE sign. Um, there are a lot of food shops in the beginning, but when you go walk past the food shops, there are stores and then rides after that. So we were just walking around to be able to know the place, you know, get familiar with what we're going to be doing for the whole day at CNE. Familiar familiarizing all the places, the foods that we could eat. Um, there were a lot of those rides where you, like those little games that you could like play and win a plushie or um, stuffy or either stuff, like other stuff too. Um, there were <laughs> concerning noises as well, but I really like the CNE &E a lot and I hope I could come back another day. So it is a long walk, it could be tiring at times, but it was definitely worth everything. So of course we're going to turn around and go facing the little entrance because we want to see other food. We did find some Indian restaurants. Um, some poutine places, some corn dog sellers, 
throws like a variety of food which is amazing because you know there are picky people out there so they have a variety of food to choose from so i did order poutine with honeydew and chicken also sprinkled with sesame seeds um this is actually so delicious i would recommend getting this if you're going to go back to senior if you're going to see me um i also my mom also got some fries french fries with a bit of ketchup and salt on top and these two were the best food ever so now we're gonna look around more without using a map um we did get a map because this place is really huge and they do have a lot of locations like shows um little fountain shows dog shows other shows like a lot of shows um they do have a lot of shops and it is pretty crowded as well, so you have to go at a certain time or day. Um, it was pretty nice though, it wasn't too crowded when we went, so that was nice. And so here we are waiting for tickets, we're gonna go on this uh, cable ride, I have no clue what the name is, but this ride is about 15 minutes long, um, so yeah. Um, this is, this was a very high and scary ride at first, but the view is actually really nice and it's really good for photography and photos. Um, I really enjoyed this ride. It's actually 34 feet tall, so, um, it was a bit scary. Um, and you actually have to jump on, like, you have to stand in front of these arrows in order to get on the ride because it doesn't stop. Like, you have to keep on moving as fast as you can. So you have to stand on these two arrows and then they tell you to sit and then you sit and then they put the little thing to make sure you don't fall off the cable ride and it was pretty cool um the views are so much like it's really pretty like there's no words to explain how much pretty it is like how pretty it is like um anyways there are a lot of amusement rides such as crazy mouse you can kind of see in the view um there are two first wheels um one is like a closed ferris wheel so like you're in a little cube with everything shut another one is like an open ferris wheel um i did want to go on the closed ferris wheel for safety reasons and also um it's closed so you're not gonna fall and die um versus the open ferris wheel which you could die because there's no belts or anything well it seems like there's no belts because i see people like um reaching out of the thing but anyways I don't know, I might go on either one, depending on what ride, um, the line and the ride. So I was scared to go on this ride, but talking with my sister and being there beside me was really comforting. Um, I am kind of scared of heights, so that was kind of scary at first, but once again, I get comfortable with the ride, so it was fun. It was fun in a way, but it was also scary because what if I fell off? One, what if my phone dropped off? Two, um, and it's just scary. Like, what if it stops? Like, it did stop, and I was kind of scared why it's stopping 34 feet high. Um, but apart from that, it's a pretty nice ride. It's pretty chill. As long as you don't jump on the seats, because that would be ridiculously dangerous. Um, but apart from that, it was like pretty cool, pretty nice ride, love the views, I hope you guys like the views as well. Um, I did take a lot of photos, without dropping my phone of course, um, it was nice. So, yeah. And please excuse my hand, I was pointing to places with my sister, we were like having a little chat, and I totally forgot that I was filming, um, that's why my like filming filming techniques weren't as good and i didn't capture as good as i would if i was focusing on filming but i wanted to enjoy the ride as well and film um so i did both so that is why you see me not focusing on the camera sometimes and rather talking with, and enjoying with my sister then yeah So the funny thing was that um, my sister wanted to touch the trees with her legs but she's actually short so she wasn't able to do that but the tree was so close to her feet 
um which is kind of like creepy because like what if you fall on the trees um that would be like hazardous so that wouldn't have been a good idea also one thing about this cable ride it was that there were little squeaky sounds um when the cable was going forward which was kind of creepy not gonna lie um it did give me the spooks and chills but apart from that it was okay so i don't know if i would go on that ride again but it was okay so that's fine and not gonna lie the niagara falls side actually looks really pretty and sick like i would go on it but i did not bring extra clothes and i do not want to get wet so that's the problem but it does look pretty sick um i would go on it if i come back to the scene next time but i don't know if i'm gonna go on it center of attention for the scene it's just for focusing on the scene festival kind of thing um the shops and the carnivals and the amusement rides and stuff so yeah one-way rides which is really sad because i really wanted it to be like a not one-way ride um but it was a one-way ride so i couldn't do anything but for six tickets that was actually kind of worth it but i wish it was not a one-way ride because then it'll be even more worth it if you get what i mean but i guess it's the cna rules so i can't really complain about that I'm not gonna lie, the view from like 35 feet high and the little shops below are is just like so cute and like it's just a totally different vibe. Like you never are always above shops and like little mini shops as well. Like it's just such a cute vibe. Like there are no words to explain how cute it is. But anyways, we're getting closer to the cable ride thing, so we have to jump off the ride to a side and run or else the chairs will scoop us up again and it does cost six tickets as well so i don't want to be paying six extra tickets just to go on that ride so yeah we're gonna kind of just like jump off and like follow the instructions that they give us it is a pretty nice ride so if you guys want to go on it i would definitely recommend you add to see it So the free bus was actually really nice, um, but it was full and always crowded so we weren't able to go on it, but if we were able to come again, I would definitely go on it. So I'm not sure what this is supposed to mean, but it says fire. Um, I'm not sure what fire is supposed to mean, but anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, there'll definitely be a part two. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, guys, bye!